Two years ago, we set out to create a cars product that actually worked and today it's here. You may have seen us talk about our product, Cars Unlimited, but essentially what it is is it's an AI cars tutor that we've designed to perfectly replicate the AAMC style of practice passages and questions and to perfectly replicate the four drills that we would take students through in personal tutoring and exactly how we would respond to those students in the drills. Now we've been talking about this for a while, but today it's here, the beta is live. If you get it on the website, then you can have access to it quickly and be working towards your car score. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what it looks like so that you make sure uh, that you know what you're getting before you purchase. If you don't know me, my name is John. I'm a fourth year medical student that's about to submit my rank list for residency, so it's getting close. Before I went to medical school, I spent a couple of years tutoring for one of the national big box MCAT companies and started this YouTube channel and the subsequent business with myself and the other tutor on this channel, Maggie, who's currently a third year medical student. We make all these free YouTube videos, our free MCAT programs and things like that because it's our hope that if you get into the free program or the free products and you decide you need a little bit more tailored help that you'll look towards our products to help you over that finish line. But let's take a look at the Cars Unlimited product. So here you can see the dashboard that pops up and um, this is the beta. So if there are some things that look a little bit ugly, those are the things that we're working on. So the functionality is here with the beta, but there are a couple of like user experience things. Like I want this to be a little bit prettier. I wanna have some better tracking metrics and things of that nature. So all those are in the pipeline, but they just take some time. You gotta build out databases and things of that nature. So here you can see outlined the four drills. So you've got reading comprehension, you've got the core four, you've got simplifying the question, and then you have unlimited passage practice. So let's go through each of these and I'll kind of show you a little bit about what it looks like. So for the reading comprehension, you're gonna get a sentence and you're gonna be asked to summarize it. So the sentence says the evolution of wooden notice boards in village squares to vibrant digital displays and online forums marks a pivotal shift in societal com communication practices a shift that warrants a critical examination of its implications on language and community chosen. So the next thing that you'll do is you will summarize what you just read in your own words. So evolution of signs shows changes in community. This isn't what I would put, but I'm trying to be quick. So once you hit submit, you'll see that this evaluates your summary. It'll offer a grade, which is three out of 10 for mine and it'll show you where you can improve. And on top of that, it will provide an example summary as well. So this is for reading comprehension. This is because a lot of people don't realize that they don't even have the foundation for cars prep. They don't even understand what they're reading. Um, and I was certainly one of those students and this three out of 10 looks like I might still be, but it'll do it with a sentence and then it'll move to a paragraph and then it'll move to a passage and so on and so forth. So that's the first drill. Second drill is called the core four. Now the core four are the four competencies that are associated with every AMC passage. It's the four things that AMC has shown to test most frequently. So you can see this passage pop up and you can pause this and take a read through it. It's gonna end up being very indicative or very replicable of what a AMC passage would look like. And this is all AI. This is, we read through all the AMC's cars passages we highlighted the ways that they test, the topics that they test on, and we trained an AI program to replicate those passages. We did the same with the questions as well, but the questions is a little bit more in depth and intense. But regardless, this drill is gonna give you this passage, and it's gonna ask you to describe the core four. So you've got the tone, so I'm just gonna make some of these up. Inquisitive, neutral, arguments, mannerism was great. The intentions to convince people that mannerism helped economic growth. I'm just making these up. I haven't even read the passage. And then the main idea. So we'll just say that mannerism spurred significant economic growth in Central Asia. I'm completely making this up. I don't know. So then you'll submit this and it'll do the same thing that it did. So it will rate your input and then it'll tell you how you could have improved on it and then show you exactly what it would have looked like. So inquisitive and neutral is like a mid score that shows you didn't really read too deeply into it. it. Does tell you that it was a very exploratory passage, but you missed the support enthusiasm. So the real answer would have been supportive or enthusiastic. So this way, whenever I tell you, you know, you need to focus on the tone, you need to focus on the main idea or things like that. Those are all good things to say and they're very common buzzwords if you go on MCAT Reddit or something like that. But until you read a passage, 
and you try it on your own and then you actually have somebody correct you on the correct answer for that, how the heck do you actually know that you're improving, right? So this is gonna be a way to allow you to do that. Do the same thing for arguments. So now we get the AI results. What's the intentions? Definitely not economic growth, right? <laughs> so it'll give us the intentions, which is the reason that the author wrote the passage. Like, what do they want you to do with it? And then the one that's the most important is the main idea. We give a really crappy main idea, but they say that mannerism is often criticized for its artificiality, actually offers a deep, intellectually engaged exploration of human experience and societal instability. So you could definitely go and answer some questions with that main idea, right? So this is gonna be a great way to teach you how to get the main idea, the tone, the arguments, intentions and motivations and things of that nature. So now we'll go to the next drill, which is simplifying the questions. And this is a really hard one for students, but this is one of those drills that once you master this, this carries over into the, all the other sections of the exam. So I'm actually really excited about this product because I think that once students get really good at cars, it really helps them with other portions of the exam. And that's something that I always like to focus on as a tutor is, how can I kill two birds with one stone? Because as a tutor, I always felt guilty to like meet with students and just like review content or something they could learn from, from a book. I was always focused on how can I, for every hour you spend with me, how can I get you one or two points? And so something that allows you to kill two birds with one stone is always really important to me because it's very time efficient. And this is something that's gonna help you do that. So here, um, it gives us another passage and then it asks us to simplify this question stem. So considering the author's discussion of the misuse of biometric data, which of the following scenarios would the author likely consider as an extension of the concerns presented? So you'll notice a couple of things right off the bat that like, A, this is like a very double AMC style passage. The, the way that we went about this was whenever we were reading through all the practice cars questions, and we did that whenever we were making the other new product that we launched, the WMC 1 through 4 breakdown. We actually documented all the common ways that the WMC writes question. You know, some of them are like reference questions where they're referencing a specific place in the passage. Some of them are talking about suppose that, and then they offer up some fake situation or something like that. So you'll notice that we put a lot of thought and intention behind making sure that not only were these questions asking about the right things because most companies get that pretty accurate you know asking about the right things but i wanted it to look like the double amc questions too like i wanted the language to be similar because if you pay me money like i don't want you to get on the test i don't want you to take your real mcat after trusting me with your money and most importantly your time and then it looks different from what you've been studying for so we, we put a lot of time into making sure that these looked accurate. This is actually one of our big delays. So regardless, simplify this question stem. Uh, what do you think this question is truly asking? So we could say identify another scenario or outcome of misrepresenting biometric data. Because that's kind of what it's getting at, right? Like there's something that's been mis misrepresented or misused and it's asking us to pick it out. Or even another way to say this would be what happened logically, right? So let's see how the AI grades this. You would do this for all five questions and then you would hit submit. I'm only gonna do it for one question. Oh, it's gonna make me put in answers for all five. And so you see, it'll evaluate it. It says, our question seems to be a self-reflection on a hypothetical response rather than an actual summary. Without seeing the specific content of your response, I can't accurately score it. So they're telling us you really missed the mark here. So what is a good example? What new situations might the author worry about based on their concerns about how biometric data is used. So, and then it, the, this is really cool. So we built it to where it identifies which of the core four this question is asking about. Because that's something I want you to be thinking about when you're reading through a question, is what is this actually going to be testing me on? So it would be an argument, be an argument about the misuse of biometric data. So that's the simplifying the question stem. And then the last one is the unlimited passage practice. So you've seen passage practice before. You're more than welcome to pause this and look through all of it. These are all AI generated, so this is no, no spoilers here. But you can see this is pretty standard, so you'll pick your answer choices. It'll tell you the correct answer. It'll tell you why it's correct, and it'll tell you why all the others were correct. And then, at the end, of course, we built in this idea of emphasizing which core four competency is being tested here. So 
It's talking about the main idea here and how, or it's actually, re it's reviewing the main idea here. It tells us that B aligns with the author's arguments and the author's intentions. So sometimes you gotta use a little bit of both. But that's it, that's the Cars AI Beta. We initially had this thing priced at $1,250, which is a lot of money for a pre-med student. And that would have, that made like our full bundle where if you want like, if you need help with the sciences and the cars and the strategies and the whole nine yards, practice passages and everything, that, that made our full bundle like $2,500, which is still cheaper than like the Kaplan's or the blueprints of the Altiuses of the world. But you know, it's really expensive. Like how do you get $2,500 as a pre-med student? I mean, I had to just get my wife a smaller ring. That was the way I did it. I was a personal trainer and saved up for a wedding ring and uh, ended up getting an MCAT prep program. But we found a way to, instead of this being $1,250, we found a way to just make it 200 bucks per month. So you can have it as long as you want. You can use it as much as you need or as little as you need. And it is our hope that us looking for all these different runarounds and things of that nature makes it more accessible to you. I know that $200 is still a lot of money, but we have seen, or I have seen so many students get knocked off of their dream from being a doctor because of this section of the exam. And I'm just kind of sick of it. A lot of, a lot of good future doctors getting held up by reading comprehension section of a test and it's just too much and so we made this and you know if you're naturally scoring 130 on cars don't buy it but if cars is keeping you from being a doctor go ahead and grab it 200 dollars is nothing compared to what you're going to make as a doctor so we're happy to put in the work and the effort we hope that you love it i know that you will link is in the description and i'll see you in the next one